There's a glare. Is that better? Yes. They're not gonna believe what happened. Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh. Literally the funniest, craziest, most this, chaotic thing just happened. This cannot end. This is okay. happening. I just grabbed this brush, no, this green brush from the basket last minute and I was just gonna brush my hair really quick because- For no reason. Well, because I'm obsessed with my hair. Don't do it, you just got more in your hair. Oh yeah! I didn't even think about there's that. There's stuff, I bet someone uses on the dog. And there's like, oh, I bet it was a dog, dog brush. Hair. And anyway, I like looked in the mirror and there was just white stuff all over like my hair. Like a minute before we started and I was about to start it by myself. I was like, this is my show now. Okay, y'all, we just got back. By the way, hi everybody. Hello. Okay. Welcome to Closet Chaos. Today is Thursday, May 21st. Thanks, Olivia. Yep. Oh I just my feel God. like people don't know what day of the week it is anymore, so. I don't know. I think it's like May 547. It's like March 547. Like, I have not left March, I don't think. Okay. So, I told, I know I told you that I was going to play drums this week, but see, I have to fix that. Okay. Just leave it alone. No one can <sighs> see it. I really so need to get her. this one. I know. It, I, I think I just brushed my hair with a dog brush. Why yeah. did I do that? It's dog hair. It's a, there's even like a piece of it on on the phone. Do you it's see that? It's more like dog dirt. Okay. So, um, speaking of dirt, how are the chitins? Oh my god, the chitins are so good. They we call them chitins because our friend Kristen, who is also my assistant, her little boy. We need to skip some. You look really good. I was Thank gonna you. say no. You should leave. I was enjoying looking at myself. Because you look just now. really good right now. Like you look well, especially good. I had a facial today. Yes, you did. I know I'll where. I'll talk about that later. Yes. So Kristen has a little boy named Kane. And, and I've got dog hair in my old. drink. He's four years old and he calls him Chittens. And, and he is the, the love of my life. Like, yes. The, I am obsessed with him. He loves me. You are the love of his life too. I like your hair parted on the side. Thank you. I was just doing something new, you know. But now and it's like that's separating. in the shirt that you borrowed. It does that thing where it separates. That's yeah. that. Okay. That is the bane of my existence. Me too. That I is why so I touch bad. my hair. Yeah, because that like, happened. Like, who wants that? I, you <laughs> always ask me to do my hair like this. <laughs> you look great, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. So, anyway. Um, he calls them chitins. He calls them chitins. And he, you know chitons. how when they're so little and you scoop them, he always comes up to Olivia and he says, um, he goes, uh, can you teach me how to scoop a chitin? Can you teach me how to scoop a chitin? And he's so like expressive with his face and is so curious. And, and oh, what's weird good. is he looks just like Avery. When he was little. Yeah, find just that picture like of me him. and Avery, by the way, that I sent just the five. It's so cute. While she's doing that, I will talk to you about what I've been doing. Also, really quick, I would love to take a picture for Instagram because I forgot to post a selfie of us. Oh, do it. So we're going to do it while we're on the live, which is kind of fun. Because we got to let people know that the live's on. Libby, that looks terrible. Do you even ready? look at me? No. Do you even look okay, at me? Okay, you need to only look at me. Like that. I hate that filter. Okay, fine. Okay, she one. doesn't have to look at herself because she's 17, so everything's going to be cute. What about this? That's crazy. Okay, post it. Who cares? That's cute. It's really weird. It's blue. Okay. So... Find the picture of Avery on Justify. Everyone go look at my story. All right, so they announced, so Daddy J, um, he has four kids. He has Andrew, who is almost 22. I cannot believe hey, that. Hey, Brittany, we didn't have time, okay? What did Brittany say? She said, these are the things that you should do before you go on the live. Brittany. And I said. It's called Closet Chaos for a reason. We really so didn't have time. So if we you want to criticize us, go ahead. Anyway, we deserve it. We deserve it. Um, Brittany, stop being a hater. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brittany. I'm just kidding. It's no big deal. Okay, my hair is getting caught in the sequins even, jacket. You look so good. I can't even get over it. You I know, but the hair is so caught good. in the sequins jacket. We're going to have to move that. No. Okay, so um, anyway, Bra Andrew's 22. Braxton is 20. 20. Braxton and Avery are the same age. 
And then he has boy girl twins that are um, 18. And so they go to Spain Park High School in, in Birmingham, Alabama. What? Jenny Sparrow said hi. Hi, Jenny Sparrow! She is the one who just uh, I saw today at Village Dermatology. So we're going to talk about that too. All right, so they announced kind of last minute that they're doing a graduation. And so we were like, oh my gosh. And so um, I'll show you these. These are so cute. So their mom had these made and then um, I bought some from her so that I could send them out. And they're so, do them one at a time. So this is Sarah Ashley. So cute. So cute. And it, and then on the back it says, Sarah Ashley will be attending the University of Georgia in the fall. For b-ball. Isn't so that cute? Make sure to tune in. And then this is Harrison. Aww. Y'all so look at my beautiful now. nails. I'm going to talk about that too. That's all you were going to say. Harrison. And then Harrison will be uh, a quarterback at University of Alabama, Birmingham this fall. Isn't he cute? And he looks so much like Jay. Yeah, that's it's not, crazy. I mean, it's not even funny. That's so weird. Just like That's him. weird. But aren't they cute twins? They're, oh, the other night we were playing Catchway, so we have to tell them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's Daddy Jay's twins. Okay, everybody take a look. Tell them. The other night we were playing catchphrase and we my were, word was fraternal. Yeah, my word was fraternal, meaning not identical twins. And I gotta move the jacket. It's cat. It my no, hair keeps getting so no. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. What is it? And I don't. There. It's gone. And so Daddy J, Mom said it's he your was on case. my team, and I was trying to get him to guess. And he said, and Harrison I, and Sarah Ashley. No, I said, yes for to him to get a hint. I go. Harrison and Sarah Ashley are this. Are, are this. And he said, identical twins. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 50 50 chance, and he always misses it. Identical twins. They're boy girl. It's impossible. Anyway, um, if anybody wants to send the twins a graduation gift, uh, DM me and I will mm -hmm. give you the address to send it to and I will send them a bunch of money to send them off to college so that's nice I know it's cute. yeah so sweet okay so anyway their graduation was in Birmingham Birmingham has opened yeah Did you know this all of Alabama is open all of Alabama is open so they uh everywhere is open like nail salons I mean pretty much everything is, like pretty much 50 capacity, I think, or yes. something like that. Although, I went to Starbucks, and it's probably like, you know, you, it's kind of maybe typical of a place like Starbucks, but literally they were so strict, and I wish I could show y'all, but I, I videotaped a little bit of it, because they were being so strict, and they were like, ma'am, 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 two people at a time, only two people at a time in the store. And then I had to like shout my order to her. And she, like, I, you know, the Mountain Brook Village Starbucks. Yeah. So I just, right when you walk in the door, you know how far away the ordering spot That's is? That's where you have to stand? I had to stand there and shout my I order. I like an iced vanilla latte. And, I, and then you know what I ordered? An iced chai tea latte, latte with, with no, no water. water. And it always annoys them when I say no water. But sometimes. they say, the iced ones don't come with water. And every time we go to get mom a latte, she says, make sure to say no water. And I know if I don't, I'll feel guilty. So I say, Ice chai tea latte with no water, please. And they go, um, the ice chai tea latte comes without water. But then sometimes. And then sometimes they some put newbie. it in there. So some then newbie. I have to be there and I have to be like, I know. I'm sorry. I just have to say it. It's like when I was little and I would make my older brother, Jay, order me a peanut butter malt at Dairy oh. Queen. Because it wasn't on the menu, but it existed. And that's what I, I wanted. And he would get so mad to have so to go and like, order peanut butter malt. It's hard to order something. Like... For someone who is being high maintenance. But because again, it's, it's mean. Well, here's to. the deal. Sometimes if a person's new, sorry, I just scratched you, and they're not trained properly, they might put water in the ice ones, and then that just makes it taste terrible. So, True. anyway, uh, so I had to stand there and yell, I want to blah, blah, blah. So then she came over and to get my oh, credit card, Go ahead. and I just went to hand it to her, and she goes, we put it on the table, please? So I had to lay it on the table. She had to pick it up from the table. This is so weird, especially if Alabama's open. I don't right. know. That's so strange. I have too much blush on again. No, 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 no. Okay. I love it. Mama. Okay, sorry. And okay. anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, So anyway, but I did get the Starbucks, but 
in Nashville, none of the nail salons are open, and we have not had many putties in so long. And no, I won't even. Like mine aren't that bad. Yours are pretty they're good. They're long, actually. but they're just like I need to. They're not bad, but this is bad. what I did today. She got her nails done. I honestly would have made the entire And trip. I got a <clears throat> pedicure. That's looks really hard awesome. show. No, look how hard no. far I can do it. Ready? Wow. Oh, my God, oh my God. Olivia. Okay. You're still uh, peeling so bad. I know. It's, it's, I don't know why, but I've been, I, my entire body peeled worse than I've ever peeled in my entire life. And I didn't even get sunburn, so. How can you... Split. Oh my god, I, my eyelashes just stuck together. Okay, how can you have on Uggs right now? It's so hot. I know, I got hot earlier and I'm not wearing socks with them, which really is a pet peeve of mine. Like, I never wear socks with Uggs. No, because do maybe you, you guys? get hot, you sweat, and then they become gross, and I can't do it. Okay, you know what? My today? Feet? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yellow on the to toenails, Cook Tom 14. What color do you usually get? Yellow on the toenails is... I like yellow. Trendy, I've seen the card. Oh, and she someone asked who's flannel, or where did I get this? This is Emma's flannel. I yes. ran and grabbed it from her right before we started, so I don't know where it's from. Emma had surgery day before yesterday. So yeah, we've been doing... No, yesterday. She had it yesterday, and guess who else had surgery? Maisie, and I don't have her with me. I should ask Audrey. Uh, uh, we'll ask Audrey to bring her up. But yeah, Maisie got spayed, right? It was really sad, yeah. It's really sad. You when we show her to y'all, you'll laugh so hard because it's really funny. She's, like right now, but yeah. I almost it, I don't think it's funny. dropping her off. Like I was really nervous, and then right before I googled like benefits of spaying your cat, why you should I spay my cat? And it was all like longer life, preventative of tumors, like all good things. And she and, would like, get knocked up. Yeah, and she would be in a lot of pain. And, and she you would be pregnant. a grandma. At yeah, I'm not ready to seventeen. Be a I mean, Being that's... a mom is hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll bring Maisie up in a minute. Maybe a chitin. But she, oh, not together though. Yeah. The chitin and the kitten. So, um, so I did that. Um, I hope Audrey is okay. I went to Village Dermatology, which Jenny, my, who said that? Because <laughs> Zarina said, hope Audrey is okay, period. She's Wait, not right. Audrey got spayed. Okay. Um, so... Village Dermatology is where I've, I've been going all these, it, it, sorry. I'm I know, that I'm like looking at the comments tonight and they're all making me laugh. Like I, I know, I, That's, I, keep, I keep looking at the comments. Yes, she's wearing a coat. Okay, <laughs> so you're not supposed to tell them that. We were just going to surprise them. Um, Village Dermatology is owned by Dr. Jenny Sabera. She, uh, her great girl Kim does my facial, so I got a facial today. I got all cleaned up. I got my brows done. Nice. Um, I got that dermaplane, you know, where they like mm -hmm. get all the facial hair off of you. Um, and so anyway, I, well, she's going to come on soon and talk like in a week or so and talk about Ooh. my skincare and what she does for me. I would love to learn. I I'll got show a facial hair one time. I'll show you a product actually. Okay. Village Dermatology. Mountain Brook, Alabama. Mountain Brook, Alabama. This is the cleanser that I use. It's called uh, Skin Cuticles. Everybody's probably like, duh, we all know about that. I don't. But I don't remember names of things. And then this is the stuff that I'm going to put on at night before I go to bed. It smells good. Even though I never, ever wipe my makeup off. But this yeah, is... Yeah. Do you talk to Jenny about that? Yeah. She said... What if does it, she say? If it doesn't bother you, That's I have makeup great. on. Okay. And so... The other thing that we're going to talk about is um, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Now, is Popeye's chicken sandwich a thing? It is a thing. No, is is that the restaurant where the guy sued them because he said he was in mental distress because they didn't have them? Yes, I think so. Is that if you yeah. know this comment, tell me yes or no. I think so because it became a really big like sensation a few months ago. Like everyone was like, "You got to try this. Better than Chick Fil A. Better than anything. It's the best thing mm -hmm. in the world." And, oh, Jenny said, don't sleep in your makeup. Oh, how, why did you have to tell Jenny that? Jenny, I have always slept in my makeup my you entire said. life. And I never, ever take it off. Even after the shows, like the touring shows. Okay, that's just that. That's bothering me. What are you that's talking about? Oh, just clean out the whole closet. Okay. Right oh, that's so much better. Okay. So, I've never washed my face. I don't know why, but it does not bother my skin. Um, I mean, I wash my face, but I'm saying I don't take my makeup off at night. Yeah. Which is worse to me. You're washing your makeup into your skin. I don't wash it at night. In other words, I just get drunk and go to bed. Yeah. No, I, I feel that. 
I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, so someone said, how often do you get a facial? I get a facial, I try to get one once a month, but I freaking need, well, I'm not, I mean, I'm just going to keep going back to Birmingham to get my facials. I'm never going to leave yeah. Village of Dermatology and Jenny Sabero because they're the best. Oh, but, well, we were going to talk about Popeyes. So okay. Popeyes, we became obsessed because I tried it. We all tried it one time and it was good and it made mom really sick though the first time we tried it. When we got it in Nashville. In Nashville. So... So, but I like. Do you want to tell where that location is? No, but okay. it's just it's... not good, and I don't know why. So then we like continued. I continued eating it, and I loved it. And I was like, "You have to try it again." So she did, and you love it. Okay, but let's it's the but hold on. Thing. Go back. So the Nashville one made me so sick mm -hmm. that I was in the bed. I was either in the bathroom or in the bed. Terrible. The whole day, it was awful, and and it didn't taste great either. So I'm like, "What is what is all the rage yeah. about this? This isn't that great." Well, then on the way home from the beach, we stopped in Dodge City, which was funny because that's Audrey's nickname, Dodge. Everybody calls her Dodge. Yeah. And um, so we just thought that was funny that we were stopping at Dodge City to get the sandwich. So we go in. It was it, literally the best chicken sandwich, sandwich I've ever had. Anyway. So you told me to do no pickle and extra mayo. Oh, okay. But today... Audrey and I decided that we were going to DoorDash Popeyes from that original place because it didn't make me sick. And today, Denny J and I stopped at Dodge City again on the way home from Birmingham and got, got one. Popeyes. And it was, again, absolutely amazing. Amazing. Today. The best sandwich I've ever had. It's amazing. It's too good. And today I got one, and I have wanted to vomit for the past three hours because I ate one, then I ate half of one, then I ate fries. So you and you got, went to the Nashville place. Well, yeah, we we had them had it delivered, and it was okay. So maybe it's just that one location is what we don't like. I you love yours to throw in, from Dodge like, City, right? Yes, I literally okay. want to throw up. But here's the thing. Okay, so this is the difference between men and women. So I saw the. On the menu, they have the calories. Oh God! And for just the sandwich, the you know Popeyes classic chicken sandwich, guess how many calories? They can't guess. It's like on door. Oh, somebody yeah. mentioned that thing you do. Yeah, how do you? Uh, you just bite your cheeks. Somebody mentioned that the other day and said um, that's more strange than. But, you, but it makes you look pretty. It makes I you, do, like, if, like, this is how you, like, pose if you want to, like, and you can, like, accentuate your features. But then I do it to be funny, and I'll just be like. I feel like I look really weird. You look so much better than me when you do it. It's kind of like a fish face. Like, it kind of hurts my, my and yeah. my cheeks. Well, how hard are you biting down? <laughs> pretty hard. So. The difference in men, okay, so I looked on the thing, it is um, 726 calories. That's just like scary, but I don't For the care. Sandwich. Some people eat 1,000 calories a day or 1,200 calories a day. I try to say around 1,200 calories a day. So for the sandwich to be 726 calories, I was like, oh, but I'd already ordered it and I, and so I justified it by just, by saying it's my only meal today. It's fine. Yeah. But this is a difference in men and women. So Daddy Jay and I both got a sandwich. We were driving and he took a bite and he loved it too. He was like, because he didn't have it last time he had chicken mm -hmm. fingers. So he was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And so in my mind as a woman, I was, the whole time I was thinking, I shouldn't have ordered this. I shouldn't be eating this. I'm going to try to throw it out the window halfway through or maybe, um, Tomorrow, you know, I can walk extra or whatever. That's a woman's thinking. Right after I finished that thought, Daddy J goes, I should have gotten two of these. <laughs> I <laughs> ate one and a half, so I don't blame his thought process. Because I thought that too. And then now I want to vomit. Like, really, I have felt so... Not because of, like, because I ate too much. It's just it made me feel really nauseous yeah. all day. And I I'm feel great. still recovering from it. I feel great. I really am. But, so I just figured, like, you know, if I just have that and that's all I have today, plus wine tonight, plus my little cocktail. Always. In case you don't know, it's my pink cocktail. So, it's a little bit of Tito's vodka, tiny bit, because I'm a lightweight. 
uh, white monster just to give me a little boost and then of energy and then Mio squirt. Are you so jealous of my squirt. nails? I don't like that when, one. When? You don't like that one? The word. Hey, squirt. I don't, you don't like the word squirt? Not really. Yeah. I just, I, there's a lot of words I don't like. Yeah, I don't know. And then also, what's that thing? It, Cause it always reminds me of that scene in Nemo with the little uh, octopus and she goes, you made me ink. <laughs> And it just, I don't know why, that just always, like, weirded me out. That is, that's... <laughs> is that supposed to be, like, adult humor? No, I don't know. I'm just, it always weirded that's me out because really it was weird. like... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it in that way. I just don't like the way she said it. A lot of people will keep saying that's not enough calories for the day. But what? that is not for you to decide. That is for me to decide. I know how many calories a day I need and also, to maintain my weight. Hi, John. Hi, John. Also, it's not just like counting calories it's also in combination with like healthy eating and all that good stuff right oh, oh moist I don't john like is that right word. moist is a bad word we oh God, we just got blurry all of a sudden did you no, see that didn't. maybe it's because i took a drink of vodka <laughs> you're like <laughs> we're blurry all okay y'all there's something different about our set so yes. if you notice it yeah um, write it in the comments write it in the comments and we'll tell you who said it first so yeah. look at us and everything that's going on and tell us what it is mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a game every night and you're gonna have to try and guess what's different in the closet setup because these don't really move don't I mean, give like, them any hints you're about to tell, give it away <laughs> now i'm obsessed with doing that face because someone called me out for it well oh! it's addicting because it feels good to bite on your that's right Kristen, shoes on the shelf Kristen Keen got it shoes on the shelf shoes on the shelf everybody looking at my shoes on the shelf where are we gonna play a game yep here we go so can you teach me how to scoop a chicken chicken has two chicken please is that a chill one where uh, I love oh yeah he always wants to know is it no if that's a chill one Meaning, like, is it gonna be calm is it, is it gonna bite me or, or is be it gonna calm? bite me um Parker called out me uh, can you text Audrey and tell her I'm wearing my cat? Yes, I will. Parker, Stacy commented and said that my outfit was iconic. Your outfit's amazing. And someone said, Livy doesn't have on earrings tonight, but that's because you got that big I ass don't. necklace. I could put on some, but. I Isn't like that necklace outfit. heavy? I love it. I really do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just watched Outer Banks and I'm trying to dress more like the main girl. What's her? Kiara. Oh, really? You need to watch it. She's okay. so cool. I can't wait to watch it. We're playing a game tonight. That's I'm trying to just Oh, here's the thing. I'm trying to get sorry. I'm trying to get clothes from free people. Free people! If you're listening, I bet you half of this rack is from you. Okay, we need this to quit. is from free people. Free people. I want an endorsement with free people. Yes, please. We're gonna start a game. I don't even know if they do and that. And we might have to finish it after a special guest comes on because he's coming on at eight. Okay. He's coming on at eight. And so the game is, I will say a word, and you have 10 seconds to sing a song that includes that word. Or name a song. Okay. And then start singing the line that has that song. <clears throat> okay. This is my challenge? Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? First word is heart. Um, when the one you love is in love with someone else, my, my heart can't tell you no. Okay. Boom. There we go. That was good. I didn't expect that one. Okay. Next word <laughs> is truck. Uh, now uh, Danny's in the kitchen. Oh, wait. No, wait. Uh, she was in the backyard saying it was a little past nine when a prince pulled up a white pickup truck. Dun, 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 dun. Great job. Yes. Okay. Third word. We want to be able to finish this. Is rose. Every rose has its thorns. Do this so well. I could never. I, I try to do hard ones. Ready? Woman. You make me feel like a natural woman. I would be so bad at this. You've gotten four for four. Ready? Mm hmm. Cry. Give me a big cry. Big tears in my eyes to wash you away from me. Ooh. That's like one of my, that it might be my favorite song of yours. It's on Restless, if you guys want to, is it? Yes. Yeah, so listen to Big Crown on Restless. Next one, Want. I want you. I knew you were going to do that one. Me. 
John I'm giving him a sound treatment. I named a chitin after him. And he and still has not wanted to be on our show. When someone names a chitin after you, you call them and thank them. Mm -hmm. So Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Forever. Um, I have one in my head. How do you wait forever? I'm lying. It says for heaven. I was about to say, come on, you... Oh, oh. no, you failed. You failed. Forever. What is the song? Do you have one? I know one? what it is. Forever young, I want to be forever, forever young. young. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, I'm so sorry to tell you so you have lipstick on your teeth. There you go. That's a, that's a real friend. <gasps> you have to do that. Only a real friend tells you that. It's gone now. Thank God. I know. God, you look so much like me sometimes. It's weird. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Place. There's no place that far. I literally thought you were going to do something else. I thought you were going to do a real fun place. Oh, yeah. I really thought you were. Okay, last and final word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> last and final mean the same thing. Okay. Um, lonely. Uh, I got it in my head. Where, where, where do lonely hearts go? How does that song go? I fail. Okay. Oh, what you felt? What, you know what I was thinking of is, but tonight I'll be lonely too. Alison Krauss. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's friends all tell me you're, you're happy, happy now. I gotta and how team. good she's treated you. A heartache would be the outcome. And I'd be singing this lonely tune. Well, tonight I'll be lonely too. I wonder if we could get Allison Cross to come on. Oh, don't even dare. No. Did I ever tell you the story about Allison Cross? Me? Yes. When she had a baby? Yes. So, when I was pregnant with Avery, my publisher threw a big uh, baby shower for me. Really fancy. Her name was Donna Hilly. She ran Sunny Tree Publishing. And we invited Allison Krauss. So Allison showed up and I'm like, you know, eight months pregnant. She shows up in overalls and a t-shirt and she's like super skinny, like normal Allison Krauss. And I was like, how have you been? You know, I haven't seen you in a while. And her brother played bass for me for a little while, Victor Krauss. And I said, what have you been up to? And she goes, well, I actually had a baby too. <laughs> and I was like, what the F? She keeps her stuff hidden. She goes, yeah, I just didn't really tell anybody. But so she had a whole baby. A whole baby. And, and it was like, you know, two weeks before my baby shower. And she was sweet enough to come to my baby shower. But isn't that weird? Yeah. I can't keep secrets. I'm such an open book. <laughs> like, I can't. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. Thank you, Missy Harden Webb 63. She said our harmonies are off the charts. Um, no, Livy's not a mom. Oh, you're just kidding. She has a cat. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Time for our special guest. Yeah, let's do an introduction. I am so excited. So, I have a new album that just came out on Friday. It is my first and only ever covers album. I have been waiting to do this covers album my whole life 
I grew amazing. up on stage. I started singing with my brothers when I was four years old. And we did cover songs my whole life. So I knew that this project would be very near and dear to my heart and very fun and exciting. But I didn't know who I wanted to co-produce it with me. So my manager sent me Rustin Kelly's album. Mm -hmm. And he is married to Casey Musgraves. And he was like, you should listen to this album. You'll really love it. And I hesitated to listen to it because I thought it would be like a bro country. Mm -hmm. And... I thought it would just annoy me. And instead, it was absolutely phenomenal, like over the top phenomenal. The whole family became obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Everything about it, every drum lick, every guitar note, every harmony, all of it. So I was like, who produced that record? I have to find him. And it turns out it was this guy that we're about to bring on. And so when we moved up to Nashville last August, I immediately started, uh, or, or had meeting, started having meetings with him. And we realized that we're soulmates musically. Yes. Um, <laughs> you're like, we're married now. So yes. And AJ's Jay's fine with it because he loves him too. Yeah. No. So we're, we're musical soulmates. Um, he's now like a part of our family. He's like my little brother. He's like your uncle. Yeah. And we recorded this album in his, home studio but it's not like a home studio I mean it's a fancy very nice studio that he built onto his home in East Nashville That's now our home now it's our home he introduced me to all these new musicians that I've never worked with before um it just was a a godsend and and I know that God put him in our lives for a reason and we're already talking about the next record we're gonna try to write the whole thing together um and so without further ado, we would like to welcome to our show our very dear friend, now he's a part of our family, yep. and musical genius, Jared Kay. See, I'm doing that thing. We always fight when we try to get people online. I don't see him. Wait, what is this thing? Be oh, there, there it is. Yeah, there he is. I know. Your Instagram name is weird. I know. We got to ask him about that. And it's upside down. Dude, Jared! How are Hi. you? What's going on? Forgive my appearance. No. What happened to you? Just, this is just who I am now. <laughs> Quarantine really got to you, huh? It really, yeah. I feel like I'm in Jumanji or something. You look great. Did you like my introduction of you? Yeah, it was so sweet. Thank you. That was so awesome. Um... You really are a musical genius, but I forgot to mention to people how funny you are as well, which is also why we get along so great. Well, we, you are hilarious. Actually, you all are really funny, so it's kind of unfair. Thank no. you. Um, who would you say you like better, me or Olivia? Um, it depends on the day, I guess. Okay. okay. Or I'd say, the, like, or it's kind of the... like, oh, shoot. Um... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, do I have to answer that question or? No. My well, Audrey's not here, answer. so you can definitely say one of us. Yeah, sure. Audrey's 0% just because she's not here. <laughs> yeah, she didn't uh, try to come see you. I know. I, she, are you sure she's not out back in the... She's actually right somewhere. behind here. We're not afraid of her. That would be great if she just kind of popped out. <laughs> I know, and did a little dance, like this yeah. theme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's the best, best dancer I know. Yeah, she's besides so myself, you, of course. Audrey and Jared have danced together many times. Yeah, Jared came yes. to my birthday party, and that's right. You cut a rug quite well. Oh, I think I cut I cut the whole rug up for sure. You did. Oh, <laughs> I have it on video too. I should honestly. Uh uh. Yeah. Jared, okay. So, what did you think? What were your thoughts when you first got the call from my manager that? Sarah Evans wants you to, you know, make a record with her, blah, blah, blah. Did you uh, tell the truth? Did you okay. even know who I was? Yeah, I knew who you were. Mm hmm But that's about the extent of my, that was the extent of my knowledge. I didn't know, we had never met, obviously. Right. But I know, of course, I knew who you were. Mm -hmm. um, Did you really? That's real, yeah. Okay. Um, but then I, let's see. Because I wasn't really 
familiar with a lot of country music. I'm from Los Angeles, so I didn't grow up with con with country music. And I had only moved to Nashville before you and I met. I'd only lived in Nashville for two or maybe just three years or something. Mm -hmm. So I was still getting my bearings and like, I don't know, country just wasn't really that popular in Orange County where I grew up. Yeah. Um, so I was still kind of getting my bearings. And so I knew who you were, but I didn't really know anything about you. And so when I got the email from Craig Dunn, that was like, I was very intrigued to meet you, but I didn't really know much. I... I like my research would have just been meeting you and talking to you. That's instead of like looking you up online or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad. Didn't stalk her Instagram. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think um, we just met and we hit it off and we just started talking about music and how much we like the same things and um, then yeah, then we had that awesome dinner together and. Where did we, we have dinner together that night? I could not tell you the name of that place, but it was pretty good. It was in Germantown. Yeah. Um, it was an Italian restaurant, and it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I we think I like... We some good red yeah, wine. It was really good, yes. It was mm -hmm. very good. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's how we kind of connected, was because you had heard Rustin's record, and... Um, and... Yeah. <laughs> and I loved Rustin's record. Like I yeah, was, we, you we, know, obsessed with it. But but I I know that there's always like a you know somebody behind the artist helping the artist. I mean, the artist doesn't just do the album themselves. I mean, I almost do. I mean, I pretty much had to you know pull you out of bed every day and make <laughs> that's true. Work. True. Yeah. Um, no, Put my but, hands on the keyboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But no. But I. I as an artist, I know that there's there's a producer there that's making this record, or at least helping yeah. the artists be, you know, everything that they can be, and make the record everything that the artist is dreaming of. And that's, you know, that's the producer's job is just to enhance everything. So you enhanced everything that's great about Rustin already. I Thank think you. you, you know, made him even better. But the the things that you chose to do on that Rustin record, and I get so many, people have been want, dying to meet you, by the way, because I get so many people that are not only loving our album, but they already love the Rustin record. And so the choices that y'all made and the little things that you did, like it's a very country record and it's, but it's like old school country sort of, not, not Hank Williams. No, but like, it's more like, um, like it's, it's just badass. I mean, it's, oh, it's hardcore. You. It talks about some really difficult topics. <clears throat> um, yeah. it, it's just so great. And I was I so blown away by it and all the decisions that you made and the way that you mixed it and, you know, just all of it. But none of that, um, n none of that on Russia's record could have prepared me for what we did mm -hmm. on Copy That. It was a very diff for sure, a very different record. There was certainly crossover there. I mean, uh, we had Eli Beard play a lot of bass on this record, which is great because he played on Rustin's record that you loved, on Dying Star, and he also played on, you know, the newest one um, that hasn't come out yet. And mm -hmm. Eric Slick, who played drums on yours, also played drums on the new Rustin record. So it was a there was definitely a bit of crossover, which was cool, um, but. You know, I think we're, as, you know, as creators and whatever that means, I, I would hope that we all are striving to do something different each time. And, you know, you liking the Rustin record was amazing, but the whole time I knew that we, that wasn't the kind of record we were going to make. We were going to make your record. Mm -hmm. and so that, that's exciting. That's like the most exciting part to me is like trying to figure out what record I'm going to work on with who I'm collaborating with and not try to think about, you know, too much like old stuff or cause like we're all trying to do better, you know, trying to do better than we did last time. And, mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Great. Yeah. Which is, totally. that's awesome. what I always tell people, like, you know, the worst comment I can get is when people are compliment or when someone says, God, you still sound so great. And I'm always like, I'm a better singer today than I was with born to fly. 
because that's the goal is to get better at each time. And exactly. I just feel like with copy that, um, it's it's the most different album For you sure. know that I've ever made, and my fans have been like really surprised by it. But I love how it makes you feel, and we really went there on every single song. Yeah, you know. But the funniest thing ever is the piano solo or the keyboard solo that you did on "Whenever I Call You Friend." Uh oh yes yes. And yeah. I would say that sounds like a shag carpet. It does. <laughs> so true. And I've been doing tons of press and stuff, you know, promoting album. So many people want to know what that was. That is a um, keyboard from like the nine or like maybe even early 2000s or something. I was super young. I don't actually remember when I got it. But anyhow, it's just a little keyboard. It's a little Elisis keyboard. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just this really bizarre, like, kind of shiny sound um, that feels, it felt cool. I, like, I remember, I think I, maybe I told you this, like, I did it the night before you came in and, or like, we had to take maybe the weekend off or something. Uh huh. And I think I like put a couple of things in, like some guitars before you had gotten back. And I did that weird keyboard thing. And the first time I played it, it was like, I thought it was just, a, I was just trying to find a sound. It sounded almost like um, some kind of 70s Muzak elevator music or something. Yes. And then as I tweaked it, I was like, I actually think this is really cool, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, it was, uh, that's my favorite solo on the whole album. It's our favorite solo. I love solo. that. And, and I think the other thing is really that um, I really, I don't have anything against saxophones at all, but I just didn't. Well, I just didn't want to put a sax solo in that part. Me I know either. that the original has a great solo, but it just felt like let's just let's use it as some inspiration. We've we've done we've done everything else very true to form. So yeah, well, it's yeah. amazing. So for all the list people watching, it's on. Whenever I call you friend, we had Philip Sweet on Monday night. Um. He, you know, of course, sang that song with me. But, yeah, we used to joke, like, uh, I, w I would ask you, which you don't even take Amy in, <clears throat> but it was just a funny joke. Like, Jared, did you take Amy in and go to the yeah. studio in the middle of the night oh, and work oh, yeah. on the record? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no, but right. Um, I don't know what was happening that day. It was um, such a good thing. You were just inspired. Like, yeah. I think I was just in the zone. So what did you think about the fact that um, my children, like I'm sure this was probably weird for you at first because, you know, you probably ha had never worked with someone who's so like close to their kids and kids are so involved. So what, I wonder what was going through your head like when my girls were there with me and Avery was there all the time playing guitar, just hanging out. What did you think of that? At first, honestly, were you kind of like, I don't, this might suck having these teenage girls yeah. in here? <laughs> no, everyone was, just, everyone was just like instant family. Mm -hmm. And that was like, I don't think the record making process would have been the same if that wasn't the case. If like, if you guys weren't there, it would have been great. We would have got the work done, but it just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have had the same energy. I, I think listening to this record now, um, you know, it's one thing to listen to a record that you're working on in stages. You're listening to mixes and you're listening to, you're like zooming in on everything. You're like, oh, that vocal needs to be louder just on that, you know, very specific things. And then it's hard for me as a producer to break out of that. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, I, I do end up listening to most music that way where I'm picking out things like production or mix and it's, it drives me nuts, but it's just, but stepping away from this record and being able to listen and listen down to it when it came out all the way down um, and, you know, and, and not in like a Dropbox, like actually yes. on like iTunes or whatever was like, it. I could hear us, all of us like in there just being like yeah. goofing around and just being silly, but also like all the love in the room and, and like how hard we all bonded together with your family and me and my friends and yeah. new friends and everyone coming together like it felt like we were like all at summer camp for a month and a half together or it something. did 
And I just recall and then, you like being at the board, but like you just never knew if, when you turned around like what you were gonna see Audrey doing. No, no. you she just never always, knew. She was always scooping off. She was always dancing. You could have turned around, and Audrey would have mooned you or something. Like she's just absolutely insane. She's crazy. Um, <laughs> Libby, what's your favorite yeah. thing about Jared, and what's your favorite thing about the record? Gosh. Aside anything... from the parts where you sing. Yeah, my voice for sure. Those are great. Those are <laughs> no. great moments. Um, oh, my favorite memory of like the entire process regarding myself. I was like in there, and I think it was you and John Davidson, and like everyone was in there, and we were all kind of like still getting to know one another. And mm -hmm. of course, Audrey and I have to like be quiet and respectful, and like you know, not disrupt the studio. And we were like talking about vocal things. I think on Patsy Cline. And I remember I did something, like I did an example, and you and John both turned around and you go, oh, like right <laughs> after, I remember I was like, like so embarrassed and you were like, oh, yeah. you know, you like heard me sing for the first time. I felt so flattered. I was so like. Well, I had only heard legend, you know, I, don't, I had only heard, heard the legend of you singing, but I had never actually heard it. It was and really, it was so like. It flattered. was unbelievable. Jo I, John and I were like, what the heck <laughs> just came out of that girl's mouth? It was unbelievable. <laughs> um, That's like definitely my favorite memory at first. And then my favorite, uh, what was your question? My favorite song? Your favorite part of the album. Favorite part of the album is definitely Crazy Love. I think that's my favorite song because of your, awesome. like all the, of y'all's harmony parts. You and John time. doing the harmony like, on it's that. Just, oh. it's, a, it's the greatest, it's the greatest. There's John, song. I see John writing in the comments. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> John. We had John on our Insta Live. Yeah, he, he told me. I we, we caught up today. Um, he told me that he told me that you guys uh, that you had him on, which is so awesome. I wish I, I wish I was there for that. This is this is coming out of hibernation for me. You've got you know we've got a limited window. I know where we I can miss be you on so much. Know. Miss you guys too. My, I Jordan would say my. Done. What? You have to promise to come over again and party at my. Of course. Remember how fun my birthday party was? It was the most fun. It was so much fun. Or we need to have a family lunch at your house. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, when this is over, it's gonna be, it's on. Are I was you gonna say on my. Right now? What? Are you working on something? No. Um. Because nobody's. Yeah, there's no one that can that can really come over. I'm being pretty particular about. Um, you know, I, I mean, I live alone, so it's just me here. So I just, I know that once I break the seal and have people over, then I'm just going to want to hang out again. So I'm being pretty specific, yeah. intentional, unfortunately, but. I'm sort of giving, getting the vibe from you. That's, um, that Hank, I mean, Tom Hanks movie, where he's stranded on the away. island. You're getting a ca get castaway, castaway vibe? Is it because of this? Do you at least have a bit. ball that you can name Wilson? I, d I wish I did, uh, but I think, I think, I mean, check in with me in like a week and I'll probably have that. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm loving, I'm loving the, the look. quarantine look, the cast. Yeah, I mean, look. nobody has, nobody has seen me, but this is it. Now, and now oh, all of your fans have now seen me, so. I know. You look cool. You look cool as crap. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say cool as S, but someone just got on to me for cussing. Did you see that? I oh, swear. let's keep this, let's keep this PG. Let's keep it PG. PG. I was well, going to say I had a good I had a good memory of um, of recording, which was when we had Wig Day. Oh my God! I'm pulling up. God about now. Wig Day. Hang on, I have it. I have it. Definitely. Tell them about Wig Day while Libby finds the picture. Okay, so um, I don't know who. I mean, you guys just brought in like two or three wigs that were for a photo shoot or something like that. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, and, it was uh, for Halloween. Got them for, oh yeah, it was for Halloween. Oh, that's right. It was for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Um, and I felt very left out because you guys didn't bring me a wig. Mm -hmm. So I was allowed to borrow uh, my favorite wig, which was a long. Um, well, if you have some photos, you can. I'm gonna you, get you it. I I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Time. Come but on, Louis, um, don't fail us. I, know I had a right really beautiful purple wig on, and Gosh, I, at a certain point, it was annoying me, and so I, I think I put it up, like under a hat or something, 
And then I, I forgot, I kind of forgot, then it became, became a part of me. And then and you I never working. wanted and I think I spent it. the rest of the day in it. I'm pretty sure. Here it is. Okay, everybody focus in on that. That's there Olivia oh my in God. a blonde wig. With the wigs. And you in the purple wig. That is amazing. And I also have video footage of you. I like wish I had that wig right now. <laughs> oh, is that me shredding? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing my Harry Potter beanie. Of course. That Rustin got me for Hanukkah. Look how funny and, that is. And Thank I'm you. and I'm wearing the wig that you guys let me. Use. Look, here's you singing in the wig. <laughs> I really stopped you. I wanted like. Oh yeah. That's you need to send him these. I really will. These yeah, are that amazing. Feels, amazing. That feels like a pretty. That feels like the way I'll only. I mean, that's what I've been doing the last two months. Is just I'm just in a, some wig and. In that way. I'm sure they're still at your house. Like, I don't know where they are. Uh, They're not here, because I would have found them. <laughs> and you would be wearing it right now. I would probably be wearing it right now. I think you should grow your hair that long and dye it purple. It's not far off, you know? Because now we it's know really that it's not. I just need some hair dye. Jared, we miss you so much. Um, You and I need to start the next album. I mean, are you going to produce my next record? Have, we even, have you even said yes? I don't know My if I've proposal? said yet. I don't know if officially I've said yet. No, of course. Okay, you guys of heard course. it here on the Insta Live. We need to start writing. Okay. And yeah. I'll find the wigs or bring new wigs. Oh, yes. And we can write with wigs. Great. That would um, be great inspiration. We'll write some real heartbreakers with those wigs on. We really so will. Dramatic. We really will. It's going to be awesome. But the yeah. folks will be with me, Always. with us every we'll step of the way. We'll bring our schoolwork as well yeah oh it's great schoolwork. audrey always says she's like now that i'm out of jared's house i can't get anything done i mean she really i mean i think she really passed her classes in my studio essentially she did <laughs> you were the only reason she like passed at all that's yeah. amazing <laughs> okay well um i'm so proud of us everybody get our record copy that yes um this is a wig as well Obviously. Yeah, and I think Jared needs to try next. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring try this that. one. I'll try the, the Betty Draper. For sure. Wig. Love it. For sure. Yeah. Um, we love you so much. Instagram cuts you off at one hour, so. Okay. We're going to get love cut off. Love you guys. It's Thank been great. Thank you so much for coming on. Talk to you later. Okay, Jared, bye. 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 Group hug. Group hug. We did it. Aww. Why do you always say we did it? <laughs> I love Jared. I know oh I miss gosh. him so much. I feel bad that he's like all alone. Like, I'm slightly worried about him being all alone. Mm -hmm. Maybe we got on. I really thought that it was Tom Hanks. I swear to you, the minute quarantine is lifted, or the minute he says that he's willing to be around people, we're gonna go there and just torment the crap oh. out of him. I mean, you can't even imagine what we'll do. I have the funniest yeah. questions for him. And he always wanted to order from that. One restaurant, Wild Cow. Wild Cow, and it's, it's vegan. And mom does not like vegan food. It's so vegan. It's vegetarian. And like, when you're in the studio, you just want like a Popeyes chicken sandwich. You know? <laughs> no, I would feel so bad the rest of the day, like I do now. Tell Audrey not the cat. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, she won't. She's so ornery. But try to get her up here. I will. Um, anyway, y'all, that, I mean, I'm so proud and honored that you guys got to meet him. And he is just, he's incredible. He's hes the secret guy behind the whole operation. He is. No one sees. Yeah, he's like the secret ingredient behind this album. He really so, is like family, too. He is like family. He always will be. If you guys don't have the album yet, now you go get it because now you have seen the producer i just think it's so cool for people to get to see the people behind the scenes me too okay know? so in regards to mom drumming okay we have to postpone that until monday monday i'm so sorry but the kick drum is broken the kick drum was broken and we, i had to get a birmingham for graduation which was kind of a last minute thing so we just got back but we're doing it on monday i promise and we have a guest that goes along with it it's gonna be so good yeah if he says yes to coming on yes we'll have a cool it's guest be great i promise it's gonna be great I produce the whole thing. It's going to be great. Also, you guys, I think we're moving. Um, does this make me sad or should we wait a while? No, I agree with this decision. My okay. Instagram is underscore live official, but live official, which is kind of a funny name, but it's okay. 
Okay, remember so, that night in bed when you were thinking of it and coming up with I was your. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by Liv from now on. I don't know why. And the problem is, I named you Olivia Margaret, and Look so she said. she's working out. Uh huh. Tell sure. Kristen. She has uh, five minutes. Kristen's probably we can try. Out with her. Anyway, um, I think starting next week we're gonna just go to one night a week for these Instagram lives because we don't have enough content to like talk about and have a really interesting episode. Like we want them to be really, really good and interesting and yes. every time. We want quality, not quantity. So I think we're gonna um Olivia looks just like you. Thank you. That's a huge compliment. That's a compliment to me. Thank you, baby. Um Yeah, working out. Yeah, Audrey says she's working out so she can't but oh, she probably is working out though because she, she works out every day. But um, so we are going to move, uh, closet cast to one night a week. We're going to try out Monday nights. Now I'm worried that like when football starts, it might compete with Monday night football. Oh yeah. So, so if we'll that happens, around. we'll just move it. Yeah. Who do you prefer Monday or Thursday? Everyone? Yeah. You guys tell us, you guys tell us today. I you... guess Thursday might be better because then you can like, you're closer to the weekend and like, right. But then when we start back on tour, we might be on the road on Thursday. So I kind of think Wednesday is a good night, but a lot of people go to church on Wednesday nights. I think we should do Thursday. Y'all tell Tuesday, us. Tuesday nights. No one ever does anything on Tuesday But nights. everyone's so used to it already. They're never going to remember. That's true. Someone said Thursday, Thursday, Monday. Okay, we'll, Thursday. we'll read through the comments and we'll take a vote. Craig Dunn said Monday nights. Everyone says Thursday. Look, everyone, everyone says Thursday. Says <gasps> come here. Oh. It's Audrey, everybody. She doesn't want to come on. Just stick your hand in or something. Just wave. Look at my Okay, baby. y'all, look at Maisie. She hates this thing. It really makes me baby. so sad. Maisie got spayed, and it is so sad. It is. Funny. Hold her up She's to the camera. She's so sad, and she got a little scar. Oh, my God. Look. look oh, that was face. a cute shot of her. Smile. Oh. Everybody take screenshots. Kitty, 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 kitty. She's the prettiest kitty in the whole world. But She's I feel precious. so bad because they said that she needs to keep this on for 14 days. Audrey's in the room, y'all. Just put your hand in and wave. Or <laughs> stick your ponytail in. Yeah. Or just say something. We have two minutes. Hey, guys. You just missed Jared. Was he on? Yeah, he was on. I am mm. obsessed with him. Come in and say hi, Audrey. <laughs> I just think real it's quick. Fun. Stick your but head in. <laughs> just <laughs> real quick, stick your head in. No, I look too bad. No, you don't. Oh, you you look beautiful out. all the time. Yeah, I just did. Um, so, Audrey, how do we look? Is Audrey the one who does the TikTok videos? Yes, Audrey does TikTok videos. She's an amazing dancer. No. And yeah. we try to get her to come on the show, but she won't. That's why the show says Closet Cast and hopefully Audrey. And no, I'm not dancing. And when... You're not a dancer. I'm good at TikTok. I'm good at TikTok. That's like all you are. You know those little TikTok dances everybody does? That's what she, she's so much better than that. True. As a dancer. She's getting She doesn't so want mad. me to compliment her. I know. No, I just don't. Nice. You just Stick your head in again and say hi. Yeah. Where'd you get that shirt? <sighs> is that a new Lululemon shirt? Yeah. I don't know where the other one is, though, that I ordered. Here, I'll just take her. If now. you don't stick your head in and say hi, I'm taking away your phone. Hey girl, so oh, she can't run. <laughs> and I always so get tired. Please I, say hi. You need to puss. You know, Bye. No, you look beautiful. Okay. All right, everybody. Bye, guys. I hope this is a good remember, we're gonna. It's a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise. We're going okay. to have mom drum on Monday or Thursday. We will tell you, but make sure you tune it's in to mom's Instagram. Be it's probably gonna be Monday. Oh, but what were you saying? I'm sorry. Tune in her Instagram to see updates about it and to just see updates in general of our lives if you'd like to. And we always post these lives to the IGTV story, yeah, so, so it'll be on. Yeah, you can always go back and watch them. Mm-hmm. But that Do was we have anything fun. else? This was a fun, really fun one. It was a good one. I feel good about it. I love you, too. John. Love you, John. I really do. And we <laughs> love you, Jared. We love all of you guys, all of my um, amazing fans. We have Ron and Ron and Brenda, John Florentino. Um, Ron Kowalski, who has a tattoo of me on each arm. And you guys notice that I will repost a lot of things that John posts because he finds the best pictures yeah. of me. So I always put them on my story. So I don't know where he gets them. That's him. I don't either. But all right, shoot that song out. Give me a song. This is my favorite song of yours. <laughs> Set me free. 
Gone Restless called Big Cry. That's poor. Love you. <laughs>